Yes, this is Kingsley. We bought a rainwater harvester. And Mr. Bumani is here to take a video of one, how effective it is and then how it works. So here we go. This is where we connect the pipe from the rain gutters. And then when it rains on the roof, the rain that comes on the roof, it passes through these pipes. We call it the two inches pipes. And then we channel it. We channel it through the pipes. And then it goes through the system. All right, so we're following the path of the pipe right here, family. Yes. All right. And I guess this and can also be buried even further yes, on the ground, right? Yes, we them on the ground. We use a level so that we can get the good speed of the descent, the, the rain. I'm talking about the water that goes into the system. And then here is the system. Where the pipe passed through is down here. But the, that place has been covered with sand. So we cannot see right now. And then when it gets to the system, we build a filter for it. So it filters the dirt from the water. And then the clean water gets into the system and it saves there. And as it gets in, if you don't have any source of water and it is only the system water that you are going to depend on, when it falls in, there is another tube in or another pipe that brings the water through a pipe. And these are the pipes that the water come from the system. And this pipe, we built also a filter for it. Here we have the two chambers. That's the system, we have the two chambers. This one for one chamber, and then this one is for this chamber, the chamber closer to me. This has been open, meaning we are using this one currently. The system is so effective in a sense that immediately you open this one, the water goes into a pump. That's a pressure motor. We used to build a pressure motor so that it can mechanize the whole house. And if you want the water at your bathroom, you get it so pressure as you want it. And if you want it in your kitchen, if you want it for your garden, you get enough pressure for it. So this tap, immediately you open it, the water flows through the filters and your clean water passes through the pipes. Here it has been buried, so you won't see it. And let me show you where it appears and then where it goes through the motor and then it comes through. It's come into your, uh, your kitchen or your bathroom or your house. So let's go. There you go, family. This is Bomani Tayamba, live on Revolutionary Cam family. And this is 21st century black power technology, letting us know to use more of the resources that we have available in a higher capacity. So the pipes that come from the system to the house, here are they. This is the pipe. This is the pipe that brings the water from the system. So when it comes, we build a tap here, and this tap has been opened. So this tap, it goes through a filter, the first filter, and then it goes through the second filter also. And these filters are carbon filters. You know how carbon filters are. It takes even the micro dirt from the water out of it and it becomes so clean it's even good and so clean even than the pipe bond water we have in ghana here and afterwards it passed through the pressure motor and we have the pressure tank also so that you get enough pressure for your house and when it passed through it passed through also the pressure tank it comes to the house so immediately you open your tap you see that the pressure is good and through that, it goes everywhere in a house. So, let us go and see how, if one tap is open, how pressure the water comes. Let's go. All right, perfect. And quick question. I see that you have our brother Kingsley. I see that you have lines going from, from here. And yes. it looks like there's a line... Going up to the water tank. Yes. 
So how is this tank connected into the system? Okay. So when you come to me, I'll talk. There you go. That's it. All right. And then I see another one right there also, family. Yes. So, so my brother got a whole bunch of backup systems. This is a good question. We intended to build this one also because we need enough water. What we saw is that the tank we built was very big and we still needed another tank so that we can save more water and it will take us for many years, from five years, ten years and above. So the tank, the system we built, after we finish it, we saw that when we build another tank also, it will help. But our land was not sufficient. So we decided to build this one. And then the water, the one we have it in the system, when it overflows, it comes into this one also. So we get another reservoir also here. This two tank, Mr. Bomani shows to you, is also another reservoir. So when the main system overflows, this is where the water also comes into. We don't want to waste the rainwater. And you know how rainwater is so strong. It's very good that these are treated water. So it's good to keep them even. If I want to plant maize and then other things that's gone, I use it to water it. And we use it throughout the year. So we don't short of water in our house. And it is the best system for Ghana or for Africa. It's very good. And as a place that, you know, is difficult sometimes to get a water or to get access to a water, when you build such a system, it helps you. And you never shut off a water in your house or even in your community. It's very good. Yes, my brother. It is an awesome technology. And as we build our sustainable community family, you know, these are the solutions that I'm sharing with our members. That way they can live this completely off the grid and completely sustainable. So our brother is about to show us uh, how the system actually works with uh, running water. So let me follow you. So now let us go to one of the top and then see how good the pressure it is. So that you'll be convinced and then see that maybe after I build a system, how can my tap flow? Will it be enough pressure for me to wash my cooking utensils? For me, if, I mean, if I need water to I mean, wash myself, will I get enough pressure? Let us go to one of the taps so that it will serve as an evidence for you to know whether you get enough or not. Because I've explained to you that this pressure uh, tank and then the pressure motor does that work. You know, it does such a work and it does it so marvelously. So let's just go open one tap for you to see how pressure, I mean, the water will come. That's Let's the go. family. That is the whole system in a nice scope. We're going to follow our brother. Yes, family, and your journey with Bomani Tayamba live on Revolutionary Camp. And we're teaching and connecting with sustainable systems, uh, what we're going to be using as we build relationships and connections with the people we're going to be working with to build our community. So, we're getting an exclusive look at all of these things here. Because you know? we have to educate and elevate and use different and modern day technology. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. so this is a shower. You about to take a shower? My brother about to take him a shower. And then let us see how, you see how pressure it is. How the top flow, this is a shower. Yeah, nice, nice. And this pressure that you are seeing, and this is basically the pressure and the water coming from the, this in the shower, uh, and that's the pump, uh, that's the pressure regulator yes, of the pump. and then the pump, now the pump has started. Okay, cool, so When there is a vacuum in the pipe, the pump also starts, and then the pressure increases. You see how it is? Powerful, powerful. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, family. Now let me off the, this in the, uh, the, the shower, and then you see the tap is up. Also, how it is. And you finish, please come. Yo, rock on, so family, we can be living in Ghana, in the community that we, or just in general somewhere else and you have a continuous flow of water without a bunch of restrictions but that means that you'd have to store a lot of water and that's what the rain catch water system that they set up um, and we explained it earlier is the purpose of some people just love to use more water and it's what it is uh, and then some people want stronger pressure and if that's what you're used to we're giving you a good solution here it's something sustainable because unfortunately the water companies it's not as efficient and you do have water that goes off in different parts of the community, right? 
So that's one next thing I want to talk about. Yeah. The purpose of building a system is consistent water. Yes. So do water go off in this area, in your community? Or has it gone off within the last six months? Not less than six months. All right. So let us go to another tap. All right, cool. So, but that's the thing you're trying to do. You're trying to avoid, and that's why you have the, the tanks above. Some people use that storage tank that if the water do go out for one or two days, they have water. Uh, so what we're doing is providing a solution without using those tanks. But nevertheless, uh, they're also good solutions as a backup system. And the same thing when you're doing solar system, you want to have a backup either solar or diesel um, generator. All right, family, so let's show outside, this to you. Outside uh, for maybe your garden and then other things. All right, cool. So let I'm trying to see how, how you, I'm trying to see how we, where you ran this from. This one is also from the uh, system. All right, so let me yes. see. From that system, so you buried it underground yes, all the we way? Yes, buried it underground all the way to this place. All right. And you see how far the distance it is. So perfect. So this would be a perfect... You, uh, utility water system yes. to just do your water underground. Water, water too is very clean. You see how it is? You right now pressure, the water flows. So you must have a you must have a very expensive water bill. No, here we don't pay water bill. <laughs> Yo, yes. brother as and sisters, as brothers and sisters, you just wait here. What did my brother just said? You don't pay any water bill. I'm someone that's been a victim of water bills. You know, <laughs> if I done up for all what we are facing, so the water bill. But immediately you build this system, forget about any water bill. There you it, go. Will, it will be there for you forever. Any water bill, all what you demand is a rainwater. There you go, family. And I'm sure telling it you, rains. I have some dreadful stories about these evil, wicked companies. And I understand business is business, but um, if you have a chance to live sustainable, which we do in Africa, and there's no there's, there's no regulations that un, that limit you to doing catch water system or doing solar systems or doing your septic tank system. Is there any regulations, brothers, to stop you from doing any of these things? Because no. where you are in the countries, you can't just build these systems because it takes away from the grid. No, there is no any system. I mean, that stops this system. You know, this system, the government is even improving it. He asking people to even do it so that hey. it will help the Ghana water. Also, you know, nowadays the, the galamse, as we used to call it, the illegal mining, is destroy all our water bodies. Wow. So when you build such a system in your house, surely you save the rainwater. And the one most important thing about it is that the rainwater is so good in a sense that it has all the nutrients. And it is good for your body system Provided it pass through a good filters, you don't need to add any chemicals like the chlorine, alloying, and then other things. Provided it pass through the full good filters as we used to do, and you it doesn't come. I mean, with any water bill. That's the most, you know, important thing about it. It doesn't come with any water bill, as you do it just like that. Provided when you are facing any small thing, you call us and then we we'll come and look at the system for you. That is all. And it doesn't involve even any much amount of money. So this system, I recommend it to anyone who, I mean, look at this video. That is very good. And you can call us for us to come and then do one for you. And then you also witness it yourself. There is another tab also, I use it for my garden. We can also go there and then look at it. It's even far but far away from the system. And you see how pressure, you know, the water flows. And you see how it is for you to convince so we can go. I appreciate it, brother. I'm looking right here. You got some greenery going here. So if you wanted to literally do an ir irrigation system, mm -hmm. you can literally run your... Well, I see that you have um, yes. uh, pipes are right here. Yes, these pipes go to this building also. Oh, okay. So, I thought you had something maybe laid out for just water yes. the crops, like irrigation, like uh, no, sprays. No, no. We're, we're, when we got here, we give it a two joints. So in case we need an irrigation system here, I just connect it from the joint to that side. But this pipe is going through this store building. And that is what is serving the storm burden. You must so have a strong see, pump system for the water to be pumped all the way up to the top no, floor. No, it's only that pump who does that work. And these pumps, 
it should not come on here. We build it ourselves. We, we, bought, we buy the things and then we build it so that we can get enough, you know, pressure. That's about uh, 3.5 bars upwards. And 3.5 3 bars, that's the pressure. It can serve about 10, you know, houses. Well, so family. it's a, a whole community thing. So if you're able to do it in your house, it's so profitable. And so, you can even decide to even sell some of the water, as I, as I explained it earlier. Sometimes the rain, the water we do harvest, is even more than the system. So we have channeled it to another place because we don't want to waste the water, the rain water. You understand? Okay, perfect. So you have the water channeling off into the ground. Yes. And family, this is a big property. And as you can see, and this water system that we're looking at uh, is used to, to basically take care of all of the water in, yes. in this entire compound because yes. one building is being built up. Yes. This one is almost complete, but that one ahead is completed. So this is what, we're looking at one acre of four plots of land. Yes. So, and that's what I mean, family, when I'm talking about fencing off, it's just what it is. But uh, once you do that, you're clear about your boundaries and what you have to build in. And this is, he showed us his four plots, it may look like a little bit more, I don't, you know, I don't know all these details, I'm just guessing. Come on, yeah, I don't get it. Is it four plots of land, one acre? Yes, four plots of land in Ghana is one acre. Now, how big is this property? Uh, the, which, is, which is the correct question. Right. Uh, this is on four plots. All right, so four plots. Yes. So family, what you see is two structures here, so, the water system that our brother is showing you is a water system that's going to be used for everything in this entire compound. Yes, yes, even more than this one. And the reason why we're saying it's going to be efficient is because um, you mentioned already that you, have, you know they have an overflow of water during the rainy season anyway, mm -hmm. where the system can't handle that much water and it just runs off. Yes. So it's a combination of you using water a whole lot and then you, it's being replenished at the same time too. So that's what we are encouraging people to do and it's completely legal and it's completely regulated and the government is fine with it because it helps balance oh, yes. the water system because it's that's the reason why you have water system being rationed. If more people in this community had this kind of system then less of their other members that don't have this system will be rationed. Let me get myself in close to you. So this is what we talk about family, educating ourselves about high technology methods so we can elevate ourselves to another level and things like that. So, um, you know, while I'm here in Ghana, that's what we've been doing, meeting with these different so let, people we can level. connect with and build unique systems and uh, work with our group. That way we can have this, an incredible community based on 21st century, modern day technology and modern day efficiency. I mean, I'm one of them technical people who has been in that world since I was 13 and 30 strong years of just using the technology to just, you know, compete and, you know, market what we're doing. So look at this, another water tap right here. Yes, it's also, and it's about 100 meters from the system. So how, did, how is this buried, or where is it routed? It's being buried on the ground. All right, so everything... Yes. It's buried on the ground, and we decided to mount it here. It's 100 meters from the system. And see how pressure the water it is. As I said, your family do not try this at home because you're going to be running up your water bill. But our brother here, there's no water bill because this is a self contained, independent system based on rainwater harvesting. Right. So, is this water clean to drink? Very, very clean. It's probably cleaner than that uh, sewage yes. water that, that most people have. And I can even drink some for you to see. There you go, family. So let's see if he survives in the next two seconds. How does it taste? Oh yeah, it tastes it like tastes green. Good, eh? It tastes better than that um the sewage water that they pump back into your system. Yes. Because what people, you know, the water that's being pumped in is usually not exactly clean water. Yeah. So what we're telling people is that this is as clean as you're gonna get. This and if they want to scientifically test this water versus your neighbor water that's on, on the grid. They'll see the difference. I'm just telling people, they can do their research, but this is what we've been pushing for a long time. But it's hard to teach new, you know, hard to teach certain things when people are so used to the same bad behaviors. You know? Mm -hmm. But 
you know, I'm sure when when the water goes out, you, you know, your your neighbors are coming to you. Can I get some water? <laughs> is that what they do? Oh no, this place is well and close, so we don't allow anyone here. You know, we, we I'm use talking it. About, I'm talking about family members. No, we don't have any family members around. <laughs> so we use it. You know, uh, the compound is very big, so we bought it for, you know. You're, 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 you're a strong man, hey. Alone. You ain't playing around. Uh, yes, and this place is being secured. You gotta be careful before you cut your hand on the barbed wire. No, 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 no. There is electricity in it. So the place is well secured. And no one is permitted to come inside. You see, there is a security man there. Yeah, I do see if the. You uh, have to come here. You have to consult the security man before you enter. If yeah. he allows you, then you enter. There you go, family. So we got exclusive yes. footage here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they, so the system uh, is good. Anyone, any community who wants to board the same thing, you can call us. I am the representative in Ghana. My name is Kingsley, and my contact number is 024 918 9208. I repeat the number again 024 918 9208. We deal with an expatriate. My boss is in the States, and he does everything. He give me approval before we come and take the measurements of your place, and then we sit down with you. We are so reasonable, because we really want to help the Ghanaians and even all Africans to build such a system, because it's very good, and it's very economical. After you finish building such a system, you wouldn't pay any water bill anymore. That is the most important. Bear in mind, water bills are very expensive. And Ghana here nowadays, because of the illegal mining, the Garamse, even the water that flows through our tap is so dirty to extent that you can never even use it to even wash yourself. Even use it to, even you wouldn't like to use it to flush your fuses. But how do you see this one? It's so clean because it passed through a filters and you can even drink it as we drink it. Not me alone, Mr. Bomani himself also drink it. I'm still living. So we have testified for you to see. So in case you are convinced, call us, and we will come and build one for you, your house, or your community. Thank you so much for listening to me. Absolutely, brother. Appreciate your energy and family. As we show you a last look, it's just like your traditional pipe like I have in my house, um, but only difference is um, I'm a victim of the water system bill. Trust me, even had a leak recently, two months, few months ago, and it was bill was crazy it's just it's a and then negotiating with these folks is is rough stuff but this pipe literally is connected to the system just like the other homes back there so what you're learning now to do is uh you have a plumber help you lay out this, these things and then the system all connects and work together so once again my brother appreciate your energy and thank you very much and we're going to be working together because we want to show people what we can do using innovative 21st century technology and thinking about sustainability and thinking about just leverage in the utility sector. You're welcome. The pressure is fine. Yes, my brother. All right, so family, I'm going to give you a nice sort of view of our surroundings. Just quick so you don't think I'm somewhere in Mars or somewhere. Just, you know, that's just, you know, what, I'm, what I like to do. That's the point of frame of reference that we're somewhere in a realistic location and community, as you can see up. And then as you can see, two car garage, just like a typical house in America. And then that's what runs this system. Now the next thing we're gonna have to show you, we're gonna get connected with a few people with solar systems and the companies that uh, we're going to be working together with and show you this incredible s systems that's off the grid. You know? So that's what we're doing, family. We're building enough from the ground up sustainable and independent. That way we can have no limit of production and then show you so, uh, security systems and safety and all that wonderful stuff. So. And one last thing, family, that's once you look straight ahead, this is what's going on in Ghana, all over Ghana, building, building. So investment in real estate, development management, or real estate investment is a future.